What's up guys, Nick here, or it's BK Tyrant from Bad Kid Tactics, and I'm bringing you a search and destroy game on District using the M1014 shotgun on Call of Duty 4, so hopefully you guys can pick up some tips and some uh, tactics today, and uh, hopefully uh, you guys can start doing better with some shotgun work on here on uh, District. So, I run Bomb Squad just so I don't have to worry about Claymores, and I can just run around as fast as I want to be string conditioning just to move around and get around the map quickly. I like to throw this grenade when uh, coming off the spawn here on defense, whether I'm on uh, defense or offense, you can throw that grenade, and I do it both sides, and uh, I use it whether I have a shotgun or not, and we see this dude, so we're going to toss a grenade, and we're going to pick him off here, use that grenade to move in close, that's why I like uh, running stuns on this class, if you haven't noticed, I like to use smokes on most of my other classes. But uh, come in the second round, and uh, I'll, I'll tell you why I use sleight of hand here. I find that the, and we get, we actually throw the nade here and we get a kill with it. And we're going to drop down and go to the right on B side. But I find that sleight of hand is the best perk to use here because uh, it, you really need to have those shots. You only get four shots, so you need to be able to reload quick. And we're just moving back here through the, the enemy spawn. And I find that stopping power doesn't help too much. And really, Juggernaut, I find that you die just as easily with Juggernaut as you do without it. And I actually tried to pick up a gun there from the dude that I naded, but we don't, you know, uh, I guess the gun just disappeared or whatever. And we sit behind this trash can, and we can hear him on the other side, so we wait for him to walk by and to get closer, and we take him out when he does get closer. So, moving into the third round, I'm not going to go the same way, because that would be just stupid. And we throw this grenade over, we get a double kill. It's a really nice grenade spot there. I throw a stun over the wall just to check these spots. Make sure that you go on the right in here, into that little hallway, because that's going to give you more cover than if you just run out in the open of the parking lot. And this dude's taking a piss, AFK or whatever, he comes back and we, we end up finishing him off. So, the last round here, and we're going to switch to offense. And what I like to do on offense is I like to move down towards the marketplace when I'm using a close quarters weapon, like an MP5 or a shotgun, just because uh, it gives you that, that advantage than rushing around. And you can get naded a lot on the other spots. So coming through here, we see two guys. We throw a stun, and we try we pick up this uh, guy on the right. And we know he's got a teammate there, so we back off. We don't even stay to reload. Just back off and get the hell out of there. Get the hell out of Dodge and get that gun reloaded. We see him. He's, he's chasing us, and we take a shot thinking he's going to come around the corner here, but he doesn't. But uh, our teammate takes him out for us. So that was just a clip, uh, quick game here. And I just uh, want to tell you guys, uh, thanks for watching my videos. Watch for the next one to come out. It uh, should be coming out either today or tomorrow whenever I post this video. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. I like the, the feedback that I'm getting here. So uh, just keep commenting. And, uh, yeah, guys, it, it really helps me out to... Uh, to thumbs up that video so take two seconds to do that thanks guys peace see you in the next video